what's good, y'all? Yo, it's been like a week and a half to two weeks since I last posted a video. Besides those that I posted tonight, this is my seventh. That's right, seven of eight videos that I'm posting tonight, uploading tonight. Um, it's just life, y'all. Life happens. Like drama, new things, computer, internet. Like computer screwed up, internet not working properly. Like, it gets super frustrating, uber fully frustrating. But it's all good now. We here. And in this video, y'all see the title. I'm gonna be talking about Kirian Kirian Sarago. <laughs> Scratch I almost say Skasky. Sasuke. Kirian Ragio. Okay. Kirian Sasuke's mother. I'm talking about from Kill I Kill, y'all. And if y'all not on that anime, you are an anime fan, get on that. Kill I Kill is the truth. Okay, it starts off simple, but it has it has a lot to it. It actually has some depth to it. It's great action. I mean, dynamic pacing. So much can be said. I've already done a video talking about Kill I Kill. You know, get on that series. But Kirian Ragio. Ragi Ragio. And this video stems from um, episode 16, the most recent, last week's episode. So if you're not caught up to episode 16, this will contain spoilers. Catch that up. Do what you do. All right, y'all. Ragio. This woman here, right now, is my is currently my favorite villain. And look, that does not diminish nor negate the greatest villain of all time and my favorite villain of all time, the Joker. Okay. Plus, I'm also watching Hunter Hunter 2011, that anime of just greatness. Period. Point blank, simple. The legendary anime with the animation. Oh. Let me not go off on that. I mean, I'm watching Miriam. I'm loving Miriam. And this also does not negate, you know, he's arguably the most complex villain I've ever I've ever witnessed, you know, and in all fiction. I've read or watched. And then it does not negate my dog Kid Boo. Kid Boo is my dog, pure evil. But Rocky, right now? Oh, and we barely see her. And there's so much more that can be done with her. She is my favorite. This woman here. Oh my goodness. The nature of evil. See, the nature of evil. Let, let me begin by saying this. A lot of people get twisted about the devil Lucifer. Coming from Christianity here for a second. They they don't understand. He's like Christ being gentleman. Okay? Lucifer, if you take in consideration, was called the morning. Now, this is a correlation, okay? So don't get flip out if you don't vibe with, if you don't believe, if you don't have a view. Just, just you know, coming from literature, okay? Coming from a literary perspective. Lucifer, the devil, Satan, he was the morning light, okay? Lucifer, coming from Latin, to enlighten, to illuminate, okay? Kind of getting on that Illuminati vibe, but different thing. He, you know, he masquerades as an angel light, known as the prince of the power of the air in scriptures, okay? He, the deals he would do, he would come in very charismatic, very charming. Look, most people wouldn't be doing evil if it wasn't appealing. They don't see the ugly side, so it wouldn't come ugly. Look at Radio. Her charisma, though. Oh my god. Goodness, I'm talking. She puts Don Quixote Doflamingo for a run for his money. She puts Monkey D. Luffy a run for his money. Her charisma, for for the One Piece fans, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Her charisma is some of the greatest I've ever seen. I mean, the fact her aura. Now, Sasuke, her daughter, had an aura. It's it's an impressive aura, and she looks down. It's not just the light shining, but it's just her aura she gives off. Come on, man. This woman literally has rainbows for hair. She has a rainbow hair. Like, yo, you know her presence. People be putting on sunglasses. I mean, this is a woman dominating. This woman, I mean, her, not only that, but she has a very feminine, feminine sensuality behind her. She's an attractive middle-aged woman, okay? 
But, I mean, she gives some of the most sinister faces, yo. Like, yo, and this, this lady, she gave her faces. But, yo, did you see her back? I just noticed this. And King Lightning caught this in his, uh, in his latest review. Okay, her, her back. I've noticed this since the beginning. I paid very much attention. I want the backstory to her back because that's scarred up. So, to me, that's like, yeah, to, let's go. This my kind of woman. She's battle scarred. She's beautiful and she's battle scarred. I mean, she has this commanding presence about her. She, but she's sensual. She's charismatic. I mean, she she's deep. She has fill up. I mean, her psychology is deep. Then there's the then there's the elements. You know, I'll I'll get to that one element later, and it has to do with her daughter. Okay, I'll deal with her in a relationship with Sasuke. But the fact is, like, what do where do I begin? I'll begin with with. Her, her, the two people we know in the powerhouses that we're connected. I'm pretty sure there may be more, but as far as we know, the two that we had, Harime Nue and Hamaro Ray, Hanamoro Ray, the, the black, the kind of female, she reminds me, I meant to say this in my Killer Kill um, video the other day, she reminds me of, if you've seen the Hunter Hunter, you know Hunter Hunter, that black um, guardian of the Zodiac family. Okay, their mansion. She reminded me of her different, but she does far remind me of her. Anyways, with with Nui, you got this this free spirit, you know, the grand contour. She follows the orders. Even though she does what she wants, she still follows the orders of Ragnar. Just when you have someone who is this free spirit and free will and she does what she wants. That's what Nui Harm you know, Harm and Nui, that's what she does. She follows her own beat. You know, she does what she wants. But she still follows Ragyo. She works for her. She's under her. That's respect. That's respect, first of all, the power. That's respect to me. That's respect to the greatness. When you have powerhouses like that working for you, you are, that's greatness. That's the stuff of legend. Then we got the fact of home. We haven't seen her. But I can assume, you can draw the inference that she's powerful. She's a right hand her mate. She she glasses. She's this old she brings. She's a powerhouse. She does what she wants. You know? So you have two powerhouses in the killer kill world. The top tiers. I'm guaranteeing she's top tier. And they work for this woman. You got this then then you got this whole with her relationship with Sasuke. I gotta talk about this for a minute. Okay. First of all, she has a daughter like Kiri and Sasuke. She has, I mean, Satsuki, the, the, the nation of Japan conquered all schools. But that's not, she's a protege, she's her successor. That's that's what um, Ragyo is naming her, right? But Ragyo is Cleek's, obviously, leads more powerful. Obviously, and we see how powerful Satsuki is. She'll level cities in a minute with her sword alone. She, she doesn't even, most enemies besides Ryuko, most foes, besides Ryuko and Harime Nue, she doesn't draw a blade. She hits them, she hits them with the, with the, um, the sheath or, or the, the, the blunt, blunt end or the hilt. She doesn't pull out the blade. She pulls out that for Matoi Ryuko and she pulls out it for, uh, for Nui Harmony, some top tiers, some powerhouses. And then Ragyo. This is her daughter. Freaking Ragyo has a corporation that is a powerhouse throughout the world. 90% of the world's, was it 90% of the world's clothing stock, I believe? Yeah, 90%. She has a whole city under control. Sasuke has a whole school. She has a whole city under her control. Revox Corporation. She has a whole corporation. One of the most powerful organizations in the world. Under her control. Now, with a relationship with Sasuke, it's strange because at the one point she's saying to Nui Harum, so Harum and Nui, you know, Nui, she's like, yo, I want you to push my daughter to a full limit. Or, or that's what Nui says. And she gives this wicked sinister smile. But at the same time, she in the scene, you know, of last week's episode, she's healing her daughter. She's saying, you're my 
more successor. So what does she really want? That's death, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. That is a not that is a great to a legendary villain, if not perfect. I mean, this woman here, you know, she she's she. Oh my goodness. Then that whole scene that people look that whole incestual scene where she massaged and you know gonna say she fingered the dog. We didn't see, but that's what happened. Okay. Some people shocked they were sir. I look. I read and watched a bowl of so much. Y'all don't even know how much fiction I've I've witnessed in my young life. Okay. It wasn't. It didn't shock me. It's not. I'm into. It just didn't shock me. I wasn't surprised. I mean, we've seen already before she was rubbing up on her daughter. I mean, we don't know what we we don't know that much about the woman, so it doesn't shock me. Okay, and plus this this series pushes its border. It is the border between, for example, Echi and Hinta. Okay, if you don't know what those are, Echi is a lot of showing Hinta is porn, uh, manga, and anime. Okay, and so this this shows that. So it, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, look at Rogue. Look, look at her sinister. Her, you know, we don't know what she's truly about. So her relationship with her daughter is very interesting. Her daughter, Sasuke's obviously not totally, she's feigning like she, she's doing what her mother wants, but she's not totally bothered. And come on, you told, you know, Ragyo, she knows this. She knows her daughter is not totally with it. Come on, man. This woman is highly intelligent, highly intelligent. That's another thing I love about her. I mean, gosh. and plus we don't know how old she is. And then, and then you take into consideration the whole thing with the clothing. Now, before I get to the latest stuff, let me just deal with the clothing. She has, unlike Sasuke, Sasuke doesn't have a symbiotic relationship with Junketsu, okay? Junketsu is trying to dominate her, and she's fighting back trying to dominate her. Ryuko has a, a symbiotic and mutual, well, no, actually it is a symbiotic relationship. Wait, is it? My bad. Sasuke doesn't have a mutualistic or even a commun commensal what's the word commun it's been a while since I mean, she doesn't you know it's a parasitic relationship that Junketsu has now with Ryuko and Shinketsu because of multiple factors that we were introduced uh, the fact that Ryuko has um, she's genetically for some reason able to resist life fibers well more than most people if not everybody She's exceptional in that manner, and she also, Sinketsu was um, created for her to be able to fight the um, the rest of the life fiber organisms, okay, his, his sort of own species. Now, they, Sinketsu, Ryuko and Sinketsu have a mutualistic relationship. Um, Junketsu, uh, Sasuke and Junketsu have a parasitic relationship. With Ragyo, we have no idea, but she's able to communicate like Ryuko, she's able to communicate with clothing. And she said, in that one scene that King of Lightning mentioned, is, shout out to him, he does mad work once again, shout out to him. You know, he talked about that one scene where she has bowls of clothes, bowls, probably light fires up the wall, you know, probably comedy sort of, sort of kind, you know. She's talking to him, she has it, which one will, will wear in today? Which one will I wear today? Powerful. And we see the toll that the, the commoners take on her. But Ragyo, nothing. She communicates. So it's like, yo, she's powerhouse. She, she's a freaking on that Medora powerhouse kind of stuff. That's, that's uh, Naruto fans don't know what I'm talking about. Freaking Uchiha moderate. Enough said. Anyways, so Ragyo, she can communicate. She's obviously, she's you know, durable, powerful endurance is out of this world. And then the fact is, you know, she constantly is going in, in that whole healing thing. So, so, we don't know how old she actually is. Is she Sasuke Monk? Probably. Uh, we don't know. There's a lot we don't know about this one. But we'll say this. This whole thing about the life fighters taking over the world, you know, feeding off their dormant, but they would rise again. She found that she found the core. And it reminded me, even though it's kind of like a ball shape, a ball and yarn, you know, kind of thread, even though it, it produced, the life arms produced a fur before, the whole concept, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the whole concept, okay? 
of the advancement and evolution of man. Okay, mankind, the Homo sapiens, what the, the life I was responsible for. I, I like that concept. It's unique. There, you know, some may say it's basic, cliche, but it's unique. But when you also consider the fact is <clears throat> that ball, it reminded me of magma. It's like a core. So it's the core of the life fibers, the origin of life fibers. Cool. I like that. And so, uh, Ragio, she had contact first with this like 20 years ago. Okay. My thing is, I think she's made a deal with them. Okay, make a deal with it. I think she's made a deal that she won't be touched. Because she don't see, why would she be pushing this whole covers um, operation under the... Uh, the umbrella of the Revox Corporation. I, look, I think she has a deal with them. She may be high immunity too. She, you know, who knows? Maybe she was was when, or she seen a light of something because of the life fibers. Maybe she has the most powerful um life fibers known to man. You know, the queen of life fibers or something like that, which would be just beastly. I mean, she's already powerful enough. I guarantee you, without it. I mean, look at you. Know, with Harm and Nui without said commonly. She's a beast, a monster. And, and imagine Ragyo with the. Oh, please. They would definitely take both sides, Ski uh, and, and Riku team up. Definitely even have a slight chance of defeating Ragyo. I mean, this woman, oh, she has it all, man. And the, the, the whole thing about the symbiote, the symbiotic relationship, you know, that it reminded me as soon as I saw it. And I, and I said this on, I think, Manga Means uh, video. I don't know if I said this on q but I know I said this on Manga Means. That how instantly the, uh, the life fighters, it reminded me and alluded back, it alluded back to uh, the symbiotes from Spider-Man. You know how, you know, eventually we saw Venom, Carnage, and all of those. It reminded me of that race, which I really love. I really, really love. I love the symbiote race. Even though it's scary and it's, it's and I'm an antagonist, I would be antagonistic and take I love it. I love this kind of concept. And I love this concept. Others might not, but I love it. As a fan of sci-fi, science fiction, and, and whatnot, I love it. So, Ragio, this, this is a, just a discussion on, on the character that I I love. I mean, we, be, we she just practically got introduced to us, and I already love. Her. Currently, my favorite villain, even eclipses Miriam, the King Miriam, Miriam, the King. Now that's saying something. This, one, I mean, is a is a recap. Very attractive, very powerful, charismatic, got a dominating order, but got some sick. Very feminine sensuality, sexuality, um, deep psychology, her philosophy. I mean, oh, her philosophy about clothing, clothing being the original sin. Her philosophy, her dog, I'm talking about, um, you know, you know, we get where Sasuke gets to see hum humans are pigs in, in clothing. You know, we, we did the philosophy spoken by this woman. And then the healing, and then, you know, what are her true intentions? We don't know. There's, and then what are all she's capable of? We don't know. Dude, man. This is, these are the kind of characters. This is why I watch Kill I Kill. For characters like, for greatness like this. Now, currently she's only holding in at number four behind. Number one is Mako. Mako and Shoko. Mako's my favorite character in Kill, in Kill I Kill. Sasuke took over Ryuko's by Sasuke's number two. Ryuko's number three. And Ragyo is number four, but Ragyo over single and over Nui Harmony. But you know, Ryuko's about to get bumped down for me. So I actually now that I think of Ragyo is probably number three, Nui Harmony is probably number four, and Ryuko is probably number five for me. It's going to be now sooner than the rest. But uh, the unexpected one, like, comment, subscribe. I'm, I'm going to end this before this video gets too long. Um, tell me y'all thoughts on Kirian. Radio on on things about Kill I Kill, anything Kill I Kill related that's fine, but I just I just had to make this video after you know this should have been up earlier, but things happen, life happens, it is what it is. Alright y'all, till next time, peace.